I'm working with a 50 watt CO2 laser cutter. This is a very common type that you can find for sale on eBay. Now, uh, when you get it set up nice and good, you can usually cut through wood that's about six to eight millimeters thick. Now, if you try to do any better by slowing the laser right down or by doing multiple passes, you generally just end up burning out the wood and you don't get to cut any deeper. But with a few uh, alterations to the machine and by using a technique where you can flip the wood about, you can cut up to two or three times as thick. Before you can do this method, you need to make a few easy modifications to your laser cutter. So what I've done is I've replaced the table which was flimsy originally with this three millimeter thick aluminium plate. So everything sits flat and sturdy, there's no sort of bumping up and down. And I've also put this piece of acrylic screwed on and I've cut out X equals zero and Y equals zero lines. So that way I can place stuff in, push it right up against the corner and I know in my absolute machine coordinates exactly where I'm gonna do stuff. So that'll allow me to move pieces around and know where I'm putting it. Now for this technique, I've also made this guide, which is 10 millimeters gap there and there and this inside gap is an additional 200 millimeters it doesn't matter what it is as long as you know what it is and it's bigger than the piece that you're using the intention is to put the wood up right up in this corner cut out one side and when that's done flip it over and against this corner down the bottom cut the underside and it should work all the way through <clears throat> now the reason I don't just put it up against the corner turn around and push it up against the corner there is because I'm not a hundred percent sure how accurate the width of this wood is and whether it's square or not but this has been cut by the laser cutter so this is going to ensure that it is square to whatever the machine's coordinates believe it is. I'm using Inkscape, but you can use any um, vector editing software. And I've made up an outline of the board in red, and in black I've got everywhere where I want to cut. So there's a few shapes on this board I want to cut out. And I need to save that as a DXF file. Then using uh, RD Works, which is a software that comes with these Chinese laser cutters, I want to find my file and import it. So my red line is just the outline I'm using as, as a guide for setting stuff up. So I want to make sure the output no, because I don't want to cut that. Now the black lines, through my own experimenting and knowing my own machine, I know that using five millimeters per second and a power of 80% max is about as much as I can use on wood before it starts to you know burn up and give a real ugly cut. I've made measurements on the real power output of my laser and 80% is where for mine you get the peak output so there's no point in me putting it higher than that. So now I select the entire board and I want to use like my reference anchor point as the top corner here and because of the guide I've inserted into the table is it x equals 10, y equals 10. I want to position it like so. And for the uh, output, I want to make sure it is in absolute coordinates. Now, I'm happy with my cutting powers. I'm happy with my position. So I just need to set up the board first. So what I'm going to do, instead of starting working, I'm going to hit the download button and this will just I'll save it as default 
So this is just going to put it straight into the memory of the cutter. So I can just go over and hit start when I'm ready to do it. So back in the machine, I've taped my guide down because thin bits of acrylic can sort of bend and warp a bit. So I don't want the shape changing. So I'll stick this up in the top corner and using my guiding tool I'll set it to the height that I normally use for cutting. Now all I need to do is uh, make sure the air and everything is on and I press start on the machine and it's good to go. So now once the whole top side is cut, take it off and flip it over and you can see it hasn't cut anywhere through that, it's just too thick. So using the same corner, now indexed an additional 20 centimeters down, make sure it's sitting there nice and flush and get ready to set up the next cut. So in the software what I want to do is recreate what I physically just did with the board. So I select everything and flip it over vertically. Now I'll change my reference anchor point to the lower corner and in the board this lower corner is now the 10 millimeters from the guide plus an additional 200 millimeters. So our Y is at 2.10 and everything else is still set up from last time. Now because the board is already set up in there I can just straight away hit start and it'll be cutting. So now the second cutting is finished and well, it's not very tight at all. It comes out beautifully. You can see the seam where the two meet joined up, no burning, probably could have even done a few more millimetres, I mean it depends on your laser, 